Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between William Watson and Pravin Tipsey. This game was played in the Kyrgyzstan in 1985. Watson started with e4. Tipsey played e5. Knight to c3, knight to c6, and Watson played bishop to c4. f4 would transpose to Vienna game. We have bishop to c4, knight to f6, d3, bishop to b4, pinning the knight, knight to f3, d5, e takes on d5, knight takes on d5, and Watson castled kingside. Bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, black to move. What would you do? Would you capture the pawn on c3 or castle kingside? And why? Thipsay castled kingside. If knight takes on c3, then queen to e1 attacking the knight. And after knight to d5, knight takes on e5. And after castling, knight takes knight, pawn takes knight. And white is better. White has a better pawn structure. And a bishop here. So in the game we have castling kingside. Bishop to a3 attacking the rook. Rook to e8. Queen to d2. Bishop to g4 threatening to capture the knight and to double the pawns. Knight to g5. Knight to a5 attacking the bishop on c4 and threatening knight takes bishop giving white an ugly pawn structure what would you do in this position if you had white pieces would you play bishop to b5 f3 perhaps bishop takes knight or something else hmm? in the game we have bishop to b5 better is f3 attacking the bishop or even bishop takes on d5 white played bishop to b5 and believe it or not this is a bad choice how should black continue what would you do in this position if you had black pieces well this is the move played in the game simple and the best bishop to a4 and now knight to f4 cutting the communication between the queen and the knight knight to e4 black to move how can black improve his position please pause the video and find the best move for black did you find the best move for black Perhaps f5 looks pretty good. Maybe even b5 is not a bad move. In the game we have... Oops! Is this a mouse slip? No, it is not. This is the move played in the game. Threatening. Bishop takes pawn. Hmm. For example, random move. Is the threat bishop takes pawn? Or maybe there is a better move, what do you think? Maybe this is even better, huh? Okay, so white really can't allow the bishop to sit on f3. And we have pawn takes bishop. What is the best move then? Maybe white could have played queen to e3, would be the best choice perhaps, under circumstances. Bishop takes pawn would be played in the game. So we have bishop to f3 and then pawn takes bishop. Black to move. How would you continue if you had black pieces? This is the move played in the game, threatening queen to h3 and then queen 
to G2 check mate Bishop to B4 attacking the knight your move how will you continue if you found this you are right that is the best move in the game however player with black pieces tipsy eh, decided to play a cat and a mouse game with his opponent and played b5 king to h1 and if instead bishop takes knight then rook to e6 would be winning for black for example rook from f to e1 pawn takes bishop knight to g3 rook to h6 and white king can't escape queen to h3 threatening checkmate is this good offense then queen takes and after rook to g2 queen takes rook however Watson found an interesting move in this position knight to f6 the mouse is fighting back and if pawn takes knight for example then rook to g1 and after king to h8 rook to g3 and white is better so in this position Thipsay played king to h8 and now it is very difficult to defend for white so white played queen takes knight pawn takes queen knight takes rook queen takes on f3 check king to g1 rook takes knight rook from a to e1 if for example bishop takes knight then rook to e6 is winning the rook is coming to g6 so Watson played rook from a to e1 how should black continue Tipsa played rook to e2 c4 how about bishop takes knight is that better if bishop takes knight then queen to g4 check and after king to h1 f3 threatening checkmate rook to g1 rook takes rook and after rook takes rook queen to g2 checkmate so Watson played c4 pawn takes bishop on a4 h3 queen takes pawn on h3 rook takes rook queen to g4 check forking the king and the rook king to h1 queen takes rook rook to e1 queen to h5 check king to g1 it is black to move black play the move when white resigned what is the move h6 to avoid back rank checkmate white resigned possible continuation is bishop takes knight then f3 rook to e3 check king to f1 queen to g2 check king to e1 queen to g1 check king to d2 queen takes pawn check separating the king and the rook and after king to c1 queen takes a rook 
and we can stop here and let's go back to move 14 did you see the killer move in this position if you did congratulations and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your king content bye for now